by definition, UNICEF has a long history of innovation. Uh, it's been a part of our DNA since we've existed, including to make sure that we are relevant to the communities and people that we're supporting. Um, but given the current context in terms of the amount of innovation that is being done in society, it's all even more important for us to tap into that, including to improve us as an organization, but also our products, our services, and our systems, so that we meet the needs of people in a relevant way. So UNICEF works in over 150 countries, and, and in these countries we're trying to, to help the most urgent needs of women and children. So a lot of our work is focusing either on emergency response or in helping governments achieve the Millennium Development Goals. UNICEF wants to be the best we can be for the world, and innovating for children is critical to becoming that. Working with end users is really the only way to make sure that our new and improved products meet user needs and thereby improve the impact that UNICEF has on the ground, which is what we're trying to do with our innovation work. I definitely think that user research, including understanding the context and the system, is crucial to making sure that the innovation projects that we work on really create impact at the end of the day and improve the programs and, and service deliveries that we're trying to achieve in the field. One, one very important thing has been the obtaining uh, sufficient quantities and also having a, a supply base that we can meet the, what would be the, the, the program requirements when they have been scaling up. You need the product. So this, this is one of the, of the key areas and, and key objectives of the strategy, a diversified supply base that could also help react to the, the changing needs of the, of the programs. UNICEF works with a lot of country offices, governments and NGOs to provide solutions to problems faced by children. What we do is we work uh, to get the users to accept and then benefit from what we supply. As part of that, we do have the opportunity to know the possible solutions or innovations that are out there and the problems that are faced with the supplies and programs that we implement. 
Taking that from the field offices, we then convene or work with research institutions, private companies, and academia to find solutions to some of these problems. And this is the way I see UNICEF moving in the coming years.